I get access to my information as to how much energy use I'm consuming by going to this website. Okay. So you just sort of log in with your information. Right. Okay. Right. And uh, it gives me different time periods. Mm -hmm. And the green is the energy that my solar panels is creating. Okay. Oh, so that's like day versus right. So oh, six a.m. Yeah. to six p.m. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> It took me a while to figure that one out because that when I first saw that it, that was energy use. I thought it was energy use, yeah. and it was also the only thing checked here. Yeah, because you can pick all the different like what you want to show on the graph appliances, and so. But the little red lines. So, for example, down here, mm -hmm. the the first peak is my washer this morning. Okay. And this next one is my dryer. Okay. And it also so this is a three d three day graph. Okay. And this is current right over here. Okay. So that's how much energy you're drawing right now? Right now. Okay. But how much energy I'm uh, creating. Okay. And then the red is how much you... I'm using. Oh, look at that. I know, it's so cool. <laughs> is your primary concern just to, to save money? I mean, obviously it costs a lot to eat a, heat a home with no insulation, or were you more motivated by the environmental issues? Or... Uh, more by the environmental issues. Mm -hmm. Than the cost because mm -hmm. I do think one of the problems about energy consumption is while people have kind of an overall idea of you know how much they're paying the check for every month mm -hmm. uh, trying to figure out individual appliance costs mm -hmm. is difficult mm -hmm. I know I'm always chasing everybody around the house asking them to turn off lights <laughs> <laughs>